Hi, hello friends. Welcome to Brighter API. I am Vinod Mehta. In this tutorial, we are going to learn a between two sets algorithm. Okay, so let's go to our hacker rank account. Okay, so this is my hacker rank account. Okay, so what it says that it says that that consider two sets of positive integer, okay, which is a, which is start from a zero to a n minus one, and the another set is which is a b, which is start from b zero to b n minus one. And we say that that is the both are the positive integers between the sets A and the sets B. And the uh, set A and set B are satisfy the below condition. What is that condition? That all elements in A are the factor of x. And the second condition is that x factor of all elements in B. While I am pronouncing and I am reading, you understand that I am talking about that. LCM, which is the least common multiple, and the other thing is GCM, which is the greatest common factor. So again, let me read. All elements in A are the factor of X, means LCM, least common multiple, and the other is that X is a factor of the all element in B, means the GCM, which is greatest common factor or greatest common multiple. Both the means are the same. Okay. So what it says that. It is a input. The first line of contains that the two space separated integer describing the respective values of n. Okay, so they are. Uh, and the second line is that n distinct number in the set A they will insert, and the third line is that n distinct number they will insert the three step. Okay, so uh, they will uh, as a input they are inserting that two and four. What we will do? We will do an LCM of the two and four. You can find my video of LCM and GCF above in the cards and the below in the description for your understanding. Okay, so we are going to same code, a uh, copy pasted code in this program as well. So re refer that and you can use the same code. You can also find my all the links as well. Okay, uh, uh, of my GitHub link where you can copy code, paste the code and you can understand it deeply as well. Okay, so who and for what does it mean? They they want the LCM of the What is the LCM of that? Four. Okay. And the sixteen thirty two ninety six. Okay. What the LCM of it? Find it. Okay. And what they want? Want to print the number of the integers that are considered of the between A and B. Okay. Uh, so two and four, four. And here we will find the GCM. I have already written the program for the finding the LCM and the GCM. And that program you will find uh, in uh, my GitHub link as well, okay? And the uh, comments in the card section as well. Uh, okay. So what we will do now? Uh, the first line is saying that find the LCM of the all the integers of array A, and the second thing is that to find the GCD of all the integers of array B. And what we need to print is that. Print the number of the integers that are considered between A and B. So what does it mean? It says that count the number of the multiple of LCM that eventually divides of the GCM. In very short line, that means is that count the number of multiples of LCM. Means the array A. Count the number of multiple LCM that eventually divides by GCF. So let's write the code. It is very easy. Uh, so uh, here we will find the LCM first. We have already written a function. We just need to call it. Okay. Let find LCM. Find LCM of A. And uh, we need to find the GCM. Find the GCM of the Uh, we had uh, you, you. I hope that you have already watched the video of the LCM, uh, LCM and GCM. So I am going to start writing the loop as well. Uh, loop is that for integer i is equal to LCM because we, what we need to find we need to find the multiple of GCM. So we need to start the loop loop with the LCM where j is equal to. I am not writing. Uh, Uh, j is equal to one because from this starting a loop from the one, no means if you want to divide or uh, multiplication by using. Okay, i should be less than or equal to gcf, and the 
i okay i is equal to gc uh, sorry lcf because we want to find a multiplication of lcf it should be divided by gcd okay j and the comma which should be j okay so if Percentage by i means the remainder should be a zero. Okay. So we need to take a one variable for So we have passed the first step. So let's submit the code. Oh, so we have completed all the challenges. And uh, uh, please find it my cards. A link all in the cards as well as in the comment section. Uh, I mean to the all the description. And you will also find a GitHub link as well. Thank you for watching my video, guys. Thank you. And very soon we are going to launch our website as well. Okay. So keep. Keep watching the Brighter API and keep following. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel and comment.